How's it going everybody? This is Cameron White with White Light Astrology giving you guys your weekly forecast of what the heck is going on in the universe. This week, shit's changing, shit's moving, shit's sw shifting. Be prepared to look at things differently than you have before. And I mean, I know when I say that, it's just kind of like, well, what does that mean? So since like March, since we've been dealing with this Venus retrograde, we've been dealing with like the same kind of stuff, a lot of Aries energy, a lot of Libra energy, a lot of relationship energy, all that kind of stuff. And uh, what was it, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, what was that, Sunday, Saturday, when Venus conjuncted Uranus, Moon went over Libra, or I mean, Moon went into Libra, went over Jupiter, all that kind of good stuff. That was the end of that. We're moving forward now. Things are different, and things are gonna change like that this week. We got Venus going into Taurus, Mercury going into Gemini, Mars going into Cancer, making a whole crazy ton of aspects. And we also have a full moon in Sagittarius, plus we have the moon conjunct Pluto, it's just crazy. Anyway, so let me go. So let me go ahead and get into it. So Monday, Venus at 29 degrees Aries will be opposing the Moon in Scorpio, bringing up a lot of intense emotions and feelings of, regarding what we experience with this Venus retrograde. About okay, like holy shit, reflect like reflection time. Like what did I really learn? What did I really go through? What did I really experience? What does this really mean to me? And how can I use this for my ultimate um, power? And when I say ultimate power, I mean What's going to put me in the best direction that I need to go to? What's gonna serve me more? What's gonna serve me in a progressive way? And how can I move forward with this? Because now we're at Venus 29 degrees Aries. Venus wants to go. Venus wants to leave and Venus wants to get out of there. Mars will move zero degrees Cancer and try the moon in Scorpio. So Monday as Mars moves into Cancer, that's when you're gonna feel a really, really big energy shift. Things are gonna happen left and right that you may intuitively act upon emotionally respond to, emotionally act on, kind of like um, Mars and Cancer, I guess the best way to put it is like if you're at a retail store and you want to buy one of your favorite clothes and the salesman's like, oh, well, we only have, you know, this one in your size and it's on sale now. And so Mars and Cancer's going to be like, oh, I should buy it because I, I need to get it right now because this is the only time. It's that emotional impulse buying. And that's what Mars and Cancer is really all about, is that emotional impulse to do things and to act and to channel and to move forward with and as mars is in cancer as it moves into that zero degrees cancer trining the moon be very wary about how you're emotionally reacting because here's the thing mars and cancer is good mars and cancer is like man your in, your intuition's on point you are trusting yourself you trust the process and you trust the fact that the universe has you taken care of you're going to be making steps left and right that just like it's kind of like you know um uh, i wish i could think of the movie i'm thinking of however if you're imagine there's a lake and you want to walk on this lake imagine just little stones coming up every time you take a step. That's Mars and Cancer. You don't just wait for the stones to get up, but you have to actually take the step. You actually have to take the leap of faith. You actually have to trust that that step will be there even though it doesn't look like it will. And that's what Mars and Cancer is all about. As it shines the moon in Scorpio, this is the time to embrace all these intense feelings that are kind of come with it, you know? If you're, if you're right here next to the lake and you're about to take a step and you don't want to go straight into the water, it's going to bring up a lot of stuff. But that's what I was talking about with this moon in Scorpio opposing Venus and Aries. What did we learn? What are we willing to use? What are we willing to go through? All that kind of good stuff. Tuesday, Mercury stops its trend with Pluto at 29 degrees Mercury at the end of 29 degrees, you're gonna feel very, you can feel very frustrated, you feel very locked in, you can feel very, you can still feel very confined. However, that all changes when Mercury goes into Gemini. You'll feel the exact opposite. You're gonna be like, whoa, holy shit, there's, everything's going on. Anyway, Mercury trining Pluto was like, okay, we got the details down, we get it, shit's changing, how do I need to be in order to still create successful results? How do I need to be in order to still maintain a foundation, in order to still get the bills paid, or still, you know, live my mundane day-to-day -day life. And as it leaves this trine with Pluto, it's gonna be kinda like, okay, shit's not that crazy in my head, things aren't going too insane right now. It's gonna be this weird pause until Mercury moves into Gemini on Wednesday. That's when it's gonna be a really big shift. You'll wake up the next morning and be like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to do something else. Anyway, Tuesday, Mer uh, Venus also goes zero degrees Taurus. So. Venus being at 29 degrees Aries, it's like, I gotta go. We, we've, we've learned what our worth is, what our desires are, what's worth chasing, what's not worth chasing, what's worth putting our passion to, our time into, our all into. And as Venus moves into Taurus, it's like, that's its home. We made it. We're home now. Venus in Taurus, after all this Venus Aries stuff, it's like, okay, we're finally home. We finally know 
and understand and have created it in our life what it is that we want and now that Venus is in Taurus it's about enhancing that beauty how can we enhance our environment our our home our family our friends and you know like Venus and Taurus is like a time to buy a luxury car type deal how can we enhance our surroundings how can we beautify like how can we beautify them how can we have them more intense how can we be vibrating at a higher energy at a higher frequency and that's just Venus and Taurus and it's not like necessarily like oh like how can we vibrate on a higher frequency like let's just you know sporadically go do stuff it's like let's take a sit sit back you're in control now imagine you're the king and you go tell people what to do and it happens so with this Venus and Taurus this week now that Mars is in cancer they're still sextiling it's still great energy and Taurus and cancer sextile is one of uh, it's one of my favorite in astrology however as it moves in there just start looking at what you've created what has what you've been through in these past couple months and start to move forward with it start to be like okay what can I build off this what's different now and how can I make myself more comfortable how can I make myself a lot more happy what can I en enhance in my surroundings on Tuesday too I wanted to talk about this real quick there will be a yacht and I know I talk about these a lot however this one's kind of a I don't want to say it's a big big deal however it's it's that point it's that shifting point moon will be in Scorpio sextiling Pluto so we have all these intense emotions and these intense feelings that we're purging out that we're experiencing that we're you know wondering we're, that we're trying to figure out and then it's going to sextile Pluto and as Pluto's retrograde, as Pluto's in Capricorn, it is changing things. It is changing the way that we experience things, that we believe in things, all that kind of good stuff. And hold on, I need to get my paper out of the way here. There we go. And as it's changing and it's out, as it's doing all this stuff, it's, they're both going to be quincunxing the sun and Gemini. So with this quincunx of the sun and Gemini, this is going to be that, oh, oh shit, things are different. Oh, I am different. Oh, things are starting to look different. Things are different. And I can see things through all the perspectives that I need to see in order to fully understand where I'm at and to fully understand and have the, I guess, the responsible decision, the educated decision to act upon what it is that I want. And that's what you're really going to see on Tuesday is this weird, um, this weird just self-realization of where you're at, where you've been, how things are different, and where things can go. It's going to be really, really nice. But be prepared for massive change because after Tuesday, after we go, oh shit, things are a little bit different. Oh my God. We're going to go straight into Mercury in Gemini. Mercury loves being Gemini. So we have Venus loving to be in Taurus. And now we have Mercury loving to be in Gemini. And as Mercury goes into Gemini, it's all about, okay, I need to fully enwrap and understand my environment. So Mercury in Taurus is like, okay, I get it. Things are working out, blah, 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 one step at a time. However, now Mercury going into Gemini is like, I need to have full understanding and awareness of what my reality is, of what I'm going through, of who people are, what all that kind of good stuff is. And so when this happens, it's also, what is it doing? It's also going to be opposing the moon in Scorpio as it moves into Sagittarius. So that's what it's going to feel like, a little bit anxious, a lot of anxiety energy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. A lot of anxiousness, all that stuff. You're gonna feel very lost, you're gonna feel very confused, you can feel very flighty and just wanna escape from everything. I, I recommend, I always recommend don't escape. I mean, being the experience. It's kinda of like if you're in a haunted house, you can run away, but you know, not, you're not gonna die, so you might as well just sit there and experience it. You might as well just sit there and take it, and at least you said, like, you know, hey, I went through this. Um, so on Wednesday, be prepared for that change, but don't, I mean, this whole anxiety energy and stuff like that, I just sell that so you guys know what to experience, what you might be experiencing subconsciously. However, when you experience that subconsciously and you bring that conscious awareness of it, it's like, okay, man, I am freaking out. Okay, shit is a little bit different. Now, take that opportunity to see where you can go with it. Mercury and Gemini, we're looking at things different. We're looking at things through all perspectives. With the moon going into Sagittarius, we gotta take it somewhere. We wanna be able to take our emotions somewhere and take all that kind of good stuff. And this is also setting us up for the big full moon with the full moon in Sagittarius. It's got a lot of energy right there and it's very flighty, it's very anxious energy because it's all this mutable energy. Anyway, Wednesday, get fully aware of what your surroundings are and do something with it. Hold on, let me grab my paper again. I forgot what's going on. Oh yeah, Thursday. Moon in Sagittarius. 
it would be sextiling Jupiter. So this is going back to that anxious energy I was kind of talking about. Going from, okay, how am I anxious? What is confusing? Why do I want, what am I resisting? What do I run away from? And taking that full awareness of it, taking that responsibility of it, and going, okay, what can I do from here? Where can I move forward? Where can I take this emotional impulse? And it's gonna be an intense week. You're gonna feel, with the moon in Scorpio, you're gonna feel a lot of different emotions changing. You're gonna go through experiences that you probably haven't felt in a really long time. And you're gonna act, you're gonna feel as though you need to act on it, that you need to do something with it. And as the moon goes into Sagittarius, as a sextile Jupiter, you're gonna to wanna to run with it. You're gonna to wanna to like, okay, like let's go run a marathon. Let's go take this as far as we possibly can. And it'll be sextiling Jupiter. It will be harm, it will be really emphasizing, again, what I've been talking about since Jupiter's been in retrograde, is this whole relationship of self. Jupiter and uh, Libra has always just been about this emphasis on relationships and this emphasis on other people and all this kind of good stuff. As it's retrograde, it's the emphasis on you and the relationship that you have with yourself. And with this moon in Scorpio, you're gonna be realizing a lot about who you are and a lot about what you've actually experienced in these past, I mean, since like March, since like February, March. And it's gonna, it's gonna come with a lot of stuff. And you have the opportunity this week on Thursday when the moon moves into Sagittarius to go with it, to like actually move, like what I was saying earlier, like we've experienced all this Venus retrograde stuff, but now it's time to move forward and take it somewhere. And Thursday's an opportunity. As it sextiles Jupiter and Libra, you're gonna be like, man, you know what? I have developed more with myself. I have developed the space of where I, which I want to come from. I have developed the, um, the, uh, the essence of what it is that I want. I've developed that essence and I want to take it somewhere. What else is going on? Hold on, my papers are flying everywhere. There's a lot of energy this Sunday. I'm at the park right now. There's a ton of people here. But, I mean, that's Colorado. Everyone's just always out and about. Anyway, Thursday, Jupiter starts training Mercury. So this is bringing that emphasis. This is the bringing that self-talk, that self-motivation. Kind of like Mercury not only rules dialogue and communication, but it rules like your internal dialogue. Like, you talk to yourself all day long, regardless of if you think you're not. And as Mercury goes into Gemini, you're going to be talking to yourself like a whole nother level that you haven't experienced in, I don't know, about a year. As it trines Jupiter... This is gonna be where that, that self-talk, that okay, where have I come from? What is the relationship with myself? How worthy am I? What can I take this? You're gonna be able to go, all this Jupiter and uh, Libra stuff of emphasizing the beauty, the, you know, the beautiful aspects about the relationship that you have with yourself and others. As Mercury transits, it's gonna be like, man, now I know how to think it every single day. Now I had to know how to keep it in my mind and stay consistent with what are my thoughts are. Because like I've been saying, to think is to create, to feel is to attract, to act is to achieve. And this is going back down to the thinking process. To think is to create, and this Thursday is when you're allowed to see a lot of your thoughts creating a lot better results than, than uh, usual and a lot more results of more of what you want, more of what's worthy of you, and more that's an exact reflection of who you are and what you how you value yourself. This is where that test kind of comes in from that Venus retrograde, what we've experienced and all that kind of good stuff. And as Mercury starts shining Jupiter, it's like, okay, if you really really know your self-worth and you really develop that relationship with yourself, you'll be moving forward in faster ways than you've ever experienced. You're gonna be taking things in so much more. You're gonna be able to experience things, understand things, learn new things, take action on things in such a higher vibration and a higher octave that you might be a little bit overwhelmed with like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm just, I'm creating all of this energy right now. And as Mars is in Cancer, it's just about trusting that process, about taking that leap forward. You know, don't be scared. Like, you just gotta trust, it's kinda like, that uh, I'm not the most religious person. However, in the Bible, Jesus walking on water. Imagine you're Jesus and you're like, okay, like God's got me. I'm just going to step on this water. It's the same deal. And don't be afraid to take that action. Don't be afraid to act intuitively. Don't be afraid to take that step. The universe has got your back this week. And it's all, and it comes back down to the universe has your back as long as you know that you have your back. As long as you know that you know that you know the universe has your back. As long as you know that you know that you know that you're worthy of it, that you deserve it, that you've been through enough, that you've worked on yourself, that you've developed yourself, and wherever you've developed yourself in the past couple months is going to be leading up to now. And then the moon will be squaring Neptune, so this is going to be taking a lot of that that Neptune and Pisces energy, which the Neptune and Pisces energy is so funny because it's just like typical Pisces, it's like either really good or really bad. It's super dualistic. It's like, and with the moon and Sagittarius squaring Neptune, you're going to feel like, you know, this isn't about what my fantasy is, what my dreams are, what I want to visualize. This is more about what, um, 
what's right for me right now. Like Neptune and Pisces is more like your overall thoughts, beliefs, behaviors, all that kind of stuff from the subconscious realm. And with the moon and Sag squaring it, this is the time to act consciously. This isn't the time to act subconsciously. This isn't the time to go on autopilot. This is the time to really come from the space of, no, I'm fully aware of what's going on and I'm going to take action on it. Then Friday, full moon. This is gonna be, this. I, I tell you what, if you're in the, if you're in the, the serving industry, the partying industry, the entertainment industry, whatever it is, or just anything, or if you're, even if you're a cop, I, you're gonna see the craziest weekend ever. Friday is gonna be an absolute, I don't wanna say a nightmare, but it's gonna be pretty crazy. Jupiter will be squaring Mars. This is where you'll start to have that intense feeling of, do I trust myself? Like the first couple of days, you're like, oh yeah, you know, I got it, I'm taking the steps. I, you know, I, I, I think I know how to trust the universe. And then Jupiter square Mars is, are you sure about that? Are you sure that you're willing to take, it's like, to think is to create, to act is to, or I mean, to feel is to attract, and now we're at to act is to achieve. And Mars squared Jupiter is kind of like, I don't know, do you trust yourself? Do you really trust that you are capable of doing everything that you want? Are you really, do you really trust the other people that you have to work with? Do you trust anything about anything about your situation? And the universe is going to test you. The universe doesn't go, oh, you know, here you go. Universe goes, oh, you want this? Let me make sure you're ready for this. It's kind of like, you know, I used to, I grew up racing motocross and stuff like that. It's like I wasn't going to jump on a huge 250cc or 450cc motorcycle at eight years old. Like, no, I'd ride my little Pee Wee 50s and then I'd ride my, you know, like 110 and then work my way up to where I was ready for that. And that's what Friday is going to be about. Jupiter square Mars, full moon and Sag. Are, do you really trust yourself? And even if it, things aren't looking the way that you want them to, are you still going to move forward? That's what it's really going to be about. And are you going to really move forward in one direction? Or are you going to stay confused? Are you going to stay lost? Are you going to stay complacent and not take any action? Because that's another thing. This is Mars and Cancer. This is lazy energy. This is you not wanting to go and do things. This is you not trusting yourself or other people or whatever it is and wanting to be emotional and reclusive and stay inside and be the, that Cancer crab. It's not the time to do it. This is the time to go, you know what? I understand that things aren't exactly the way that I want them to be. I understand that things don't look the way that I want them to right now, but I need to move forward anyway because this is what my whole purpose is. Because, da 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 da, this full moon is conjuncting Saturn. Saturn in retrograde, and here's the biggest thing, it's kind of like, you know, um, I don't wanna say it's like winning the lottery, but like, when you get to the point where you're like, you know what, I, I understand where I'm at, I understand things aren't looking the way I want to, and I need to move forward any, anyway, that's when Saturn's gonna kick in and say, you know what, you, you've been learning your lessons, you've been getting this energy, you've been disciplining yourself, you've been believing in yourself when you, the universe has given you nothing to believe in. That's Saturn and Sagittarius. And as it's retrograde, it's, it's kind of like on pause, but good things happen and it's still kind of there at the same time. It's kind of a weird energy. And as the moon conjuncts it with this full moon, it's kind of like, if you're willing to take yourself there, if you're willing to take yourself forward, move yourself forward, under, uh, and not be afraid to move forward with things, Saturn's gonna bless the fuck out of you. And so keep that in mind on Friday when you feel like you don't, you, you shouldn't be doing anything, when you feel like you can't move forward. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Neptune will be squaring Mercury. So again, this is more acting out of the conscious side of things rather than the subconscious. It's not going to be like, whoa, things are just happening. It's like, no, things are only going to happen unless you put your conscious awareness to it. So be very, very aware this week of what it is you want to create, what it is that you're experiencing right now, what it is that you want to experience in the future and all that kind of good stuff. Um, Saturday, Moon will oppose Mars. That's again going back to that emotional impulse, not wanting to, like, even though this is Capricorn energy, Moon in Capricorn is very vulnerable. Mars in Cancer is very, very vulnerable. So Saturday, be very, very wary of what exactly it is that you're putting your emotional investment to. Like if this after this full Moon, it's kind of like you don't need to lock yourself in. You don't need to contain yourself in the energy that is Capricorn. You just gotta keep trusting the process and just keep just not necessarily put your head down and keep working but like just just focus and just do the just do your shit and just feel it out figure it out and you'll get it sunday moon conjuncts pluto sextiles neptune saturn stops trying or yeah saturn stops trying with venus saturn stopping is trying with venus is where it's like okay venus is finally not being affected venus is finally not 
having crazy aspects. I mean, yeah, it'll still be, it'll still be conjuncting Uranus, but that's not the biggest deal since it's moved forward and it's in a completely different energy now. Um, however, Saturn stops shining Venus. It's kind of like, okay, we don't have, it's not this intense karmic feeling that we've had since God, I don't know. Um, since yeah, like, uh, February, since Saturn squared Venus and then Saturn's trying Venus, it's not going to feel like this karmic intense stuff that's been going on and it's going to feel like a big release. So that's really what's what going on this week, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching all my videos, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, all that kind of good stuff. And if you guys would like to book a reading, feel free to send me an email or send me a DM. Um, still working on some shirts, still working on my website. I'm hoping to get it locked in once you know we're in this mercury and gemini stuff and sun and gemini still so give me a little bit of time for that um yeah and i'm wishing you guys the best i'm sending you guys a lots of love lots of abundance and of course a lots of white light so thank you guys so much and i'll be seeing you next week